Ooh. Some cordyceps. Nice. Not sure what they'll do, but useful. Uh, easy way, easy way, easy way is to just jump over this yeah. and hope I'll land on something nice. Stop. And climb up here. Really? Oh yeah, well it will be in there. Jari Anomaly CA1. Okay. Looking to enlist citizens? PKs are always looking for brave young men and women to fight the good fight. Who's that? Force 20 affected out of the ring before time runs out. Okay. Two, one, go! Okay, this is kind of fun. I didn't know that. Fly, zombie, fly! Ah, <sighs> 18. Okay, that's a little more awkward than I anticipated. But fun nonetheless. Regular shop can't compete. Let's just sell those valuables. So what we don't need via gear, which is like that onwards. There's that and that. 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 That and that. Don't need that. Okay, everything seems to be in order. So that. That makes me jump every time. Oh, Alright, it's book. What a harsh goodbye. Jerry Apart Pike 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so these don't actually do all. It's just bits of artwork that you can pick up and look at whenever you want.
Okay, 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 okay. It's gone to journal and I don't wanna that one seems good. But it is the story quest, so let's get that done. Before anyone joins the chat that uh, doesn't want things like that spoiling. How far away is it? Two hundred meters. Not majorly far, but not what I want to do to be fair. I hate nighttime quests. Those chances are they give you just enough time to do it in. I knew that was going to happen. As soon as I saw it, the blooming arrow all like, nope, not made this, not made it, not made it. Where the heck am I? <coughs> oh, I'm here. Oh, so these guys do have a bed for me. I think they did. That was bag is hiding information from us. Who knew? All kind of information. Got Let's craft some of these knives. Sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Because I can use them for a sneak attack. Try again. Attempt number dos. Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Yeah, each takedown blooming takes away a knife, that's annoying. some of these Barney. Barney. Grab your weapon, grab your UV through and then investigate is that report in Hammond. Sophie, Zayden. I found a radio. And a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kodak. One of ours. Barney can't be far. Why is it not Ah, here we go. Let's go tell me hi. Now you need to see where you actually went. 
Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. That's a lot of loot. Let's just get rid of you. Not dealing with that. I knifed him. He should have been dead. Fuck. Now what am I supposed to do? Uh huh. How about opening are the door? Are you? Who the fuck are you? A Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You will get them. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. How? I'll try. Barney? Come back to where you came from! Your sister's worried about her. Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even keep Sophie out of it. But, but it's true. You're damn lucky you're busy here, dipshit. Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away. You ain't getting a thing from me. Fuck, shit. Uh, great. Well, this ain't looking good for me. Now I have to fight a bunch of zombies. Joking. How many more? That it? No. So it's all these guys. Nice. Some I can use. mentioned you're stubborn but she didn't say you're an idiot hey i should beat you down for that <laughs> you can beat Here, down and take your radio an idiot. we're leaving no birdie we gotta find birdie who he lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there if not for him i'd have ended up like kojak you're in no condition to look for anyone he's just a kid man i promised this old lady i'd bring him back understand he drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find them. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. It's not. I'm not going back without him. He'll have to help on his own. We're leaving. I'll look for him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you. Got it? Hurry! I have much for choice. <sighs> Blood. 
blood. Must be birdies. Trout should lead me to him. Hey, you find Birdie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. Jesus Christ, I don't know what's going on there. Where does trail go? I wasn't going down without a fight. Took out all those fuckers. Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Mm. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. Great. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. It's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... Uh, over there. My radio. I have to call someone. Here. But we gotta hurry. Of course. Of course. Uh, I just gotta... Hello? Mom. You there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney? He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Uh, soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan? What's going on? Nathan? Nathan? That's a shame. trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... He didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. You better. Because he just literally sacrificed his friend to blum and get the crystals back. Wait until morning. Go back to the bazaar. And confront him. Just made that. 
Should have sprint jumped to that. Oh, for now. What a word with this dude. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? Hmm. You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? Why did you trick me? You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after you crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim. And they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Bernie to distract me. That it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Bertie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. Honestly, I'm going to blame it on him if I can. <laughs> we have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? I bet soon as I'll give him up. Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Why did you want the crystals? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. Doubt it. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. What's about the PK commander? It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Oh, the conversation with that Carl. spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And the people don't know anything? And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. 
They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less.